Alright, thank you guys so much for submitting your OCs to hashtag FongDrawMyOC. So the first OC that caught my eye is from Sureus. C Reyes. Uh, sorry if I mess up your name. This is their OC Hanel. Beautiful face, hair on point, but most of all, the neck tattoo or chest tattoo for that matter. Mwah. Cool design, very creative, and I also like how C Reyes did the background using circle to direct the audience attention to the face. So I'll be using the similar background for their OC. I'll be using this photo as reference. Now I'm sure you guys know my rule for using reference. Assuming you've been paying attention to my videos. Do not try to perfectly copy the photo reference, like I'm just using this picture for the face anatomy and lighting. But other than that, my drawings is gonna be different from the reference. Sirius also did a great job in using contrast or opposites in their drawing. You see his hair is flowing this way, but he's gazing that way. Hence, ooh hands, fancy. Hence, creating opposites. Ever heard of the term opposites attract? Yeah, I think it's mambo jumbo, but using it in drawing will make your piece even more interesting and dramatic. Now adding soft shadow and hard shadow for the skin. If you wanna learn more about skin shading, I have a video for that in my channel, you can check that out. Okay, I know his neck and chest is covered in tattoo, but it's important to shade properly what's underneath so the tattoo doesn't look flat or just plastered to his body. And no, I'm not just making excuses to draw his chest, so shush. Okay, let me shade the hair first, make some blobs, and then Hyundai logos, and then bunch of lines, and yeah, that's it, that's how you do hair. Okay, back to the chest. When shading muscles, I think the easiest way for me to do is to reference other artists' work. Remember this drawing I made? This pavement block looking sh**. Truthfully, I'm kinda stumped on the shading, because I only referenced the real picture at the time, so referencing others' painting will make it easier to figure out how to simplify, where to use soft and hard shadows, etc, etc. Now I can't find the artist who made this, I found this picture on Pinterest. I tried to upload it to Google image, but still can't find the artist. I will leave a link in the description of the artwork, so if you know who made it, let me know. Okay, let's draw the eyes. Oh, oh this is a disturbing image. Look at me, father. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I see Hanul has some beauty marks and scars on his face, along with lip piercing. But I will leave out these details until I'm done rendering the portrait. <clears throat> I'm sore from doing the voice. I'm amazed by how you guys pay attention to details, like Hanul already has a beautiful face, right? But Sireus spice him up even more by adding these small details, and the design become more interesting. Usually when I made an OC, it's just, oh, okay, it looks like a person. Okay, I'm done. That's it. Let me add some highlights and also rim light. Rim light makes everything better. Okay, now create multiply layer to draw the tattoo. Using multiply will make it look more natural. Okay, now I will erase following the shape of his neck and chest. And this is why kids, we should always paint what's underneath properly. I also use multiply to add the scars and beauty marks. I feel like I don't draw him daddy enough. Sorry, I don't draw him daddy enough. Adding the piercings. Don't forget to add shadow underneath. Okay, let's recreate Sirius background. To make the circle, click here and click here. And you will have this red circle, which you can move around and resize. This way you can draw a perfect circle. To draw the lines, click this one and you will get this. Now you can just use any brush you like. I prefer thin ones to draw the focus lines. The lines will draw the audience focus even more to the face and adds a nice element to the background. When you have a bright circle as background, adding shadow all over the character and adding rim light is a great idea to make your character stand out. Oh, I almost forgot to add sparkles. He deserves all the sparkles. Alright, there you go, Sirius. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for submitting your OC. And again, sorry I don't make him daddy enough. Second OC I will draw is from Kristen Drawings. And this is their OC Ami. She is 17 years old and she is 164 centimeters tall, which means she is so much taller than me, I am very very short. What really caught my eye is Ami's hairstyle. The braids is just mwah, really pretty. Kristen did a marvelous job. Wait, hairstyle made by Bonnie. Another OC. I take it back, it's Bonnie who did a marvelous job with Ami's hair. Sorry Kristen. I'll start by making a silhouette of the pose. This will serve as a base before we actually sketch the character. I find this method easier than drawing lines directly to a blank canvas. By the way, this is a reference window in Ibis Paint. To open it, click here 
and then click reference window okay so i can draw a face facing right without twisting my wrist in a weird way so i will flip the canvas to draw the face i'll be honest with you i was struggling to figure out her braided buns like look at that what in the name of everything holy am i drawing i was like how did kristen do it how did they make the buns look 3d well mine is flat af and then it hits me. My smooth lizard brain finally turning its gears. The buns look 3D because it is 3D. The base is supposed to be like this. When I realize that, the braids look so much better and the shape is making more sense. What's the moral of the story? Kristen smart, me dumb. Okay, I will shade the skin. I always use dull colors first so that I can focus more on the shading. You know there are times when you find a reference you like but it doesn't have clear shadow, like my reference here. And when it happens, I just shade around the areas where shadow usually appear, like eyes, nose, under the lips, and her neck. Add basic shading first for the hair, including the braids, just give it a little bloop for now. And then we will leave this for later. It's not good to fixate on painting only one specific area because we have to maintain the balance of our painting. It might sound like I'm just making stuff up, but for real, balance is important. Let's start coloring the eyes. Kristen provided a close-up for Ami's eye, which thank you so much Kristen, it helps me out a lot for drawing the details in her eyes. But as always, I will leave the details for later. Fung, you're just procrastinating! Well yeah okay no more avoiding the braids i will paint over the sketch first and then draw little well butts i think this is the easiest way to paint braids just draw a bunch of little butts i will repeat this step on the rest of the braids and draw bigger shape on the very top and then drawing small strokes to mimic the hair texture all right whew, i hope kristen like how i paint ami's braid oh and bonnie too remember bonnie is the one who did this hairstyle I will add the details on her eyes. Shapes in her eye is the logo of... of what? Well, anyway, let's paint the eyes. But seriously, you guys, again, your attention to details in character design is amazing. Just amazing. I want to make a sunny sky like in the reference. It might look weird and unnatural at first, but when you add rim light on the character, it will give an impression of a sunny sky. Okay, I hope you like it, Kristen. Thank you so much for submitting your OC, and I hope I did Ami justice. Do we still have time? We still have time. Let's appreciate the other OCs in the hashtag. This is from Cat. Oh, clever name. Oh, I love this kind of scene. Just playing with a cat, so cute. And the warm colors make the painting look so wholesome too. Oh, oh, fancy boy. This one is from Faceless Artsy. Oh, what a beautiful man. Swipe to see my very first drawing of him. 2021 art versus 2023. Okay, okay, so this is the 2021 art. Look at that improvement. Faceless artsy, so cool! Wait, what is this? What is the correlation of this image and the previous one? Well, consider this my reaction seeing your amazing improvement. From Yaya Draws 15. Oh, she's so pretty! I like her hair, so fluffy! Such a beauty! Yeah, I know, right? Do I have permission to call her mommy? I need to know. Oh, another beautiful man! From Rain, Rain's as Hold up. Rain X. NYR. Sorry if I mess up your name. Look at the facial expression. It's so well done. And the eyes and lips are beautifully done. Rain X NYR. Very well done. Whoa, look at that. Look at that character design. Look at all the details in the outfit and the pose and the wings. So good. Krisu the crispy. Very well done. Everyone, go check Krisu out. Very, very talented. Actually, check out every artworks in the hashtag. A lot of great OC designs in there. And if you want me to do this draw my OC thing again, let me know. I really had fun doing it. And that's all for now. Bye!